What's going on? My name is Brandon Epstein and I am an entrepreneur and mental fitness trainer. And what that means is I help people train their focus and their choices to gain control over how they feel, how they behave, and what they create in their life. Now for this video specifically, I'm making it for my friend Alex who's putting on this event to help people have the best year of their life in 2021. And so he asked me to give my best contribution. So here it is. I'm gonna give you five steps to make 2021 the best year of your life. This comes straight from my mental fitness training. And to give you a little bit of perspective, this comes straight from my own experience in my life and experience with my clients. So I've been teaching in the world of mental fitness training for over 12 years now and also applying it to my business. And by doing so, I've been able to grow an audience on YouTube with over 100 million views uh, built over a seven-figure business and done all of this utilizing the tools I'm going to be sharing with you today in this video. So let's get into it. Step number one for making 2021 the best year of your life is going to be honing your focus. Now, when I say focus, you maybe think, okay, concentrating, right? How much time can I spend sitting down concentrating on what I want? Well, Actually, focus expands much farther beyond just your ability to focus in any given moment on a task. When I talk about focus, I'm talking about a way of being. See, there's two ways of being. You can consistently focus on what you want, or you can consistently focus on what you don't want. Now, when you focus on what you want, you get more of what you want. When you focus on what you don't want, you get more of what you don't want. And I'm sure you've experienced this in your life before because we can all think of times in our life where we just get caught in these ruts, where we start just thinking about or focusing on all the things outside of our control that are making it hard for us to achieve the goals we want in our life, right? If we think about our life broken down into a few different buckets, from your career, to your health, to your finances, to your relationships, to your overall happiness, I'm sure there's areas of your life where you do a better job focusing on what you want, and so you get better results in those areas. And then there's other areas of your life where you focus more on what you don't want, right? So someone who's focusing on how hard it is to lose weight, they're gonna struggle with losing weight because they're constantly putting it in that box of basically focusing on what they don't want versus someone who's built, built a really good habit around exercising and being healthy. Well, they're constantly focusing on what they do want, which is the result from taking those actions. So in any given moment, you are creating your reality with your focus. And so step one is honing on your focus because in the big picture of it all, there's only two things that you control in your entire life. Number one, your focus. Number two, your choices. And so when you are focusing on something, you're creating a feedback loop with the universe. You're basically telling God, the universe, whatever the infinite energy source is, I want more of this, right? Whatever you're focusing on, whether it's good or bad, your focus is energy exerted in a direction that creates a feedback loop of, I want more of this. So that's why the more you focus on what you want, you're gonna get more of what you want. The more you focus on what you don't want, you're gonna get more of what you don't want. Now, if for anyone who thinks this is too simplistic, I really urge you to reconsider how powerful this can be in your life. Because at the end of the day, the quality of your life is directly correlated with the quality of your focus. And so you get better at focusing on what you want by building the muscle. It's not something that just happens naturally. So one thing you can do to start to build this muscle is just have alarms go off on your phone you know, five times a day. And whenever they go off, just notice, am I focusing on what I want or am I focusing on what I don't want? And if you're focusing on what you don't want, flip it. Re do your perception, redo your focus, and focus on what you do want. And usually it's gonna be the opposite of what you don't want. And if you're already focusing on what you want, well, you're doing it right. So just keep living your life, because that's a goal, is to constantly be focusing on what you want, constantly creating that feedback loop of more of what you want, all right? So once you get step one down, you can move on to step two, which is creating clarity around what it is that you want across the board, right? And all those buckets from career, finances, relationships, um, happiness, your overall health, like you want to make sure that you have a clear destination to where you're trying to go. Because so many times people say, I want to lose weight or I want to have more money or I want a better relationship, but they're not putting that clear destination is. So their supercomputer, which is their subconscious mind, doesn't know where to direct their energy. 
And so you can imagine, it's the same thing if like you wanted to go to this great restaurant you heard about, but you never got the address. So you're like, ah, oh, here it's maybe downtown somewhere. And you're just driving around and around and around. And maybe eventually you just get tired and you give up and you go home. Cause you're like, well, I didn't know exactly where I was going. I heard this place was great. I wanted, it was better than my experience I've had in the past, but I didn't know where it was. So now I give up. And so many people do this with their goals in their life. They don't have enough clarity. So they don't know what success is. They don't have it clear in their mind where they're trying to go. And so of course, when they try to go to an unidentified location, they're not able to find it. All right. So step one is you can go over to my YouTube channel. I'm sure Alex will give you guys resources for this as well. But if you do go to my channel, I have free meditations to take you through visualization exercises. So you can look up mental fitness training or Brandon Epstein and go through the process of actually visualizing, feeling the experience of what you want. And a lot of people get overwhelmed when I think about creating their vision because they're like, well, I don't know exactly what it is yet. All you need to know is what it feels like. Because once you set the intention for like the general experience and the feeling you want to create, the when it's going to happen and the how it's going to happen, that will show up later down the road. Okay. So start by getting the feeling. And then once you have that and you have that experience, you can pull that into a story. So take that vision in your mind and write it out, write down, write down a paragraph of like, this is what I want to experience. And then the third step is taking that paragraph and crystallizing it into clear outcomes. I want to lose 15 pounds by March 1st. I want to increase my income by $5,000 by April 1st, right? Just whatever it is for you, whatever your, your clear outcomes you want to create that are in your vision, write those out one by one. And the reason why you're going to do so is because that clarity creates confidence to now you actually know exactly what you're trying to create. So you feel more confident to make it happen. And then you can take the next step, which is going to be step three, which is aligning your belief structure with the vision you created. Because we all have had experience in our life where we say we wanted to create something rationally. We're like, I want to lose this weight or I want to stop this bad habit or I want to start doing X, Y, or Z but we don't do it because our beliefs don't align with this idealized outcome we've created. So here's how you figure this out. First, you start by going back into your vision, experiencing it again, and then just observing any negative self-talk that comes up that's like telling you why you can't have what you want. Well, those are negative or limiting beliefs revealing themselves to you. So write them all out one by one. What is that voice saying? I believe that I don't deserve to make more money. I believe that rich people are bad, right? And so you need to go in and flip all those beliefs. You need to literally believe rich people are good. You need to believe I do deserve to make more money. You know, you need to go through one by one and make sure all those beliefs go from limiting to empowering. Now, once you've gone through that exercise of just pulling out all that negativity and flipping it on its head, you can take the next step. By the way, I hope you're taking notes on this. This is, or you can go back, of course, rewind and do it, but I recommend you take notes because this literally is your roadmap for success this year. Okay, back into it. So once you've identified the limiting beliefs, you flip them into empowering beliefs, then you ask yourself, for each clear line of things that I say I wanted to create, what supporting beliefs do I need there? What other empowering beliefs are gonna uplift my vision and pull me towards it? So I have intrinsic motivation to do it, so I'm not like forcing myself every day. Instead, I feel drawn to it. So ask yourself, what empowering beliefs do you need to hold that are going to align with your vision? So for example, if you want to lose 15 pounds before March 1st, you need to believe you have more than enough time to exercise five times a week. You need to believe you have more than enough discipline to count your calories and macronutrients. You need to believe that you're worthy of losing this weight. You need to believe that if you do lose that weight, your life is going to get better. A lot of people believe that even though they say rationally and they want an outcome, they have subconscious negative beliefs that tell them that if they get that outcome in your life, it's going to be worse. And the reason being is because the subconscious always wants, you get to you, always wants to get you into a state of homeostasis. It wants you to stay where you are. You're safe. You're good. You got food in your belly. You got a roof over your head. Don't change anything. That's what your subconscious wants. It's a survival mechanism. So it's doing its job. So understand that and realize that whenever it tries to pull you back down, it's just telling you, hey, everything's cool here, it's safe. And you have to go in there and change those subconscious beliefs 
so you can get to that next level. And so how you're gonna do that is a little bit of inception. Once you get that list of all the beliefs, I want you to get out your phone, I want you to record on a voice note the list of these beliefs, and then I want you to listen to that every morning when you wake up, every night when you go to sleep. And you can even start to look at these and say them throughout the day like mantras. So these beliefs are gonna be ingrained into you by incorporating them in meditations, by listening to them, and also through repetition. The more repetition we get, that's how the subconscious learns. All your beliefs you have so far, they were learned through repetition, whether it was between seven, zero and seven and nine years old when you're first getting programmed, or if it was through some intense events you had in your life, like the person who broke up with you, and then the other person that broke up with you, and the other person broke up with you, and now you believe that all men are assholes, or you believe all women are cheaters, right? So when we have those events, we need to recognize them, observe that, and then go back and redo the programming. And repetition is how we do it, because that's how we got here. Okay, step number four, once you have your beliefs ingrained, you're gonna move on to choosing your habits. Your habits are just your actions broken down into consistent things that you do. So what things you need to do on a daily basis, a weekly basis, and a monthly basis. And I always come back to the fitness metaphor because I have a fitness company and it's a really easy one for me to break down. So you need to have a habit of exercising five times a week for at least 30 minutes, right? You need to have the habit of counting your calories and macronutrients and hitting your numbers at least six times a week. You need a habit of getting enough sleep at least five or six nights of the week. You need a habit of drinking more than enough water and so on and so forth. So you need to reverse engineer all of the clear outcomes you said you wanted with these habits. That makes sense? So you're taking this vision and these specific things you wanna create, we're uplifting them with the beliefs, your subconscious on board, and then we're adding the actions. And so really you can see how we're aligning our focus and choices, the only thing we have control over with the things that we want to create. So everything you want to create, there needs to be the beliefs to support it, there needs to be the habits to support it. Now, once you have those all in place, the fifth and final step is just being consistent. Now, when I first started my first YouTube channel, no one cared what I was doing. I wasn't making any money. No one was watching my videos. For almost the first year, we didn't even have a thousand subscribers. Well, five years later, we're almost up to a million. And the reason why we got there was no magic pill, there was no secret formula, it was just consistency, week after week after week, posting valuable content to help people. And the same thing goes for, well, how did I get six pack abs? Well, it's just been the last you know decade, plus 15, 20 years, whatever it's been, of exercising five times a week and being conscious about the food I put in my body. You have to think about all the areas you're succeeding in already, it's because you've been consistent. So when you look at the areas that you struggled with in the past, you have to see and recognize. You have to align those beliefs and habits and then you have to find a way to stay consistent. And once you get your beliefs on board, it makes it so much easier to stay consistent. But in addition to that, you're also gonna come up against these obstacles, this adversity. Sometimes you're gonna feel stuck. You're gonna be like, man, how do I keep moving forward here? And in times like that, that's where you incorporate more of the mental fitness training that I offer. Things like guided meditation, breath work, yoga, intense exercise, going and utilizing these tools to get you in a different state of mind, quantum shift in your energy, so you're no longer feeling how you did before, you feel a new way, and so you can enter back into your world of creating your vision, being the creator of your reality from a new perspective. And so that's what you have to do. Realize there's always gonna be that resistance that you come up against. When you realize it, go through the process of saying, am I focusing on what I want? Am I clear in my vision of what I want to create? Do all my beliefs align or is there one that's coming up that I need to change because it's feeling, making me feel resistance towards the outcome I want? Are all my habits in place? Have I been consistent with them? Constantly going through this cycle, that's what's going to get you the results you want and that's what's going to make 2021 the best year of your life. So obviously I had to run through this material super quick. I think Alex said he wanted it to be around 15 minutes. So thank you for checking this out. But if you wanna dig deeper, I have a free workbook that'll actually take you through my full mental fitness training. It's available on my website, mentalfitnesstraining.co. If you wanna connect with me, I'm on the internet, YouTube, Instagram. You can find me at Mental Fitness Training or Brandon Epstein um, all over there. And if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hope you love the video. Hope you're gonna take it to heart, take the action and make 2021 the best year of your life. 
So my final words to you are be the thing, enjoy the process, and have a great year. Final thing I wanna mention, my friend Alex asked me to make this video for this event he's putting on, like I said, to make 2021 the best year of your life. I'm putting in the description below a link to go watch his event. So there's a bunch of people just like me that are giving advice to make this to your best year yet. So go opt in, that's gonna be happening on January 2nd. Go put your email in there and he's just gonna send you all this free content. It's gonna be great. Go check it out. Thanks guys.